I had already said to him, you know what, man, let's not continue with this process because now I'm having all these dreams now. I'm, I'm confused. Why church now? Why am I being called back to church? Why am I preaching in my dreams? Why this and that? And so, and uh, my ears uh, closed, so to speak. My ears could not function properly. I couldn't hear people. I had, I had to look them in the mouth when they are speaking. I don't think I'm going to spend uh, most of my time uh, bashing African spirituality. I would not run away from speaking the truth as I have seen it, but I'm not going to spend all my life trying to, to preach what I don't believe in. I would rather preach what I've belie I believe in. So that's what we call familiar spirits. They know everything about your family. They know everyone. So they can impersonate anyone from any generation. Welcome to Something Nice with Dinano. And I've got a question for you. What are ancestors? What are ancestors to you? Are they spiritual guides, as in good spiritual guides, angels? Or are you one of those people that believe if they do exist, if they partake in our activities, they are demons? Or they are just dead and they have nothing to do with the living? That's the question I'm asking you. Comment down below. Let us know what an ancestor is to you. And then you became Isangom. How was that journey? Um, How was that experience, Obungom? I wouldn't say then I became because it was still a long, long, long process. And um, my Gobela passed on, as I said. And so that process, but by the time my Gobela passed on, I had already uh, put a pause to the journey because when I came back from Okfukama, there was uh, something that happened. Um, my dreams changed. You understand, I started dreaming more about church, dreaming more about preaching and praying. So I was so fascinated or I was so shocked, let me put it like that, that why now all of a sudden, because if I had gone to Fukama Emanzini next to the river and I did this at home, and so I was expecting now my ancestors would come because that's what I was looking forward to. Ancestors now are going to come and show themselves, and now I am going to start to be able now to see for myself these things that people were seeing in me. But that never happened, but instead, in uh, Kayam, so to speak, or my sickness now then was pointing me back to church, so to speak, you understand? So I was preaching, verses were coming to me, and and um, one thing I must say is that through in Tlombe, as means, uh, going with Ahmad I attended a lot of in Lombe. I did, we did a lot of Imisebenzi for a lot of different people, whether it was Amatwasa, Kakobela, or we're being hired. Um, whenever they sing in Goma's Amakriha, nothing was 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 uh, revoked in me nothing was or invoked i don't know which word is proper there uh but it not, did not speak, did nothing not speak to your was, spirit. was shaken in me and as or sprung up like you'd see people falling into trances and all these things but whenever a church song was sung even if it was sung by Amal Griha, it, it, it took me to another realm so to speak you understand sometimes it would become dark and uh, sometimes i would almost faint um, so there was this spirit yeah, that was pointing me towards to, uh, church and God and the Bible and preaching, you understand, which was now more stronger than whatever I had considered the, the, the spirit of ancestors that wanted me, Uguba Manditwa, said, do you see? Yeah. So eventually um, I stopped and then I said to myself, What no, did you stop? I stopped the process yoke to us. Around about what time? What year? It was um, it was around about uh, 2020. Can't be. We had um, a conversation in March 2021. Yeah, wait, <laughs> I didn't leave. I put a pause. No, boss. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, when we had that conversation, you were still there. Look, when I, being still there and actively. It's two different things. I, I want okay. to come to you now okay. so that you can see how this will make sense. So I stopped Uktuasa's course at that time. You understand? When my Kobela passed out, uh, passed on, I had already said to him, you know what, man, let's not continue with this process because now 
I'm having all these dreams now. I'm, I'm confused. Why church now? Why am I being called back to church? Why am I preaching in my dreams? Why this and that? And so, and uh, my ears uh, closed, so to speak. My ears could not function properly. I couldn't hear people. I had, I had to look them in the mouth when they are speaking. Uh, my, my, it was as if my ears are filled with water and all of those things. So we stopped. And but we, we continued to be sort of like friends, so to speak. He would visit my house, we would go see your community at Latini, um, would mix herbal plants and, and medicine for people. He would ask me to go cleanse people in the in the in the bush or in the field or in the forest or at the sea. So I would do all those things, but knowing that now he's not gonna ask me when are you gonna do this or when you're gonna do that because I had said to him pause. But unfortunately he passed on. Then now I went into what you call umda, umda, and it was umda, umda, and and parula, and I did all those processes. What does that mean? That means uh, it's 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 the processes you do when you are twa, when you twasa umda, itongo elbong. That's what we know it as in in the Eastern Cape. We say itongo elbong, some type of ancestry that then you then accept. Okay. Then we ambio landa, so to speak, manzini, and then and all those processes. These things are there on YouTube. If people want to know more, they're not going to hear from me. They must just go <laughs> and do their own research. Uh, so, Are you ashamed of where no, you come no, from? No, Why don't you want to speak no, on these I'm things? No, I'm not ashamed, but um, I, don't, I don't see a point of teaching what I no longer believe in when people can do a research for themselves. But in a context where someone is asking and already has knowledge i can then put things into perspective but to 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 initiate someone into this knowledge who was not even aware that certain things are done this way or they exist to me I, it serves no point but then to spark a curiosity which was not there then i'll be leading someone where i would not wish them to go you see um so i did that process but then when i was about to do a homecoming I had already prepared everything. The money was there. But remember, ever since I entered Ubungoma, I've been working, more especially helping people um, with with various issues and instead of doing misabins and all of that. So I'd been working. So what happened is that my my second Kobela passed on as well. When he, I think a week before she came back from KZN to come and uh, do a homecoming ceremony for me. And... Um, then that uh, struck a nerve that, hey. Maybe it's a sign? Maybe this is a sign. Because now I was pushing to finish this. My mind was no longer in this, in the first place. You understand? But I was pushing this because I wanted to finish. When was this? Um, the second Kobela. This was, now, second Kobela this was now, during the time we were speaking together. Because I never got the impression. This is why I'm, I'm, I'm saying, no, you're not being honest with me. I never got the impression that you are not really into what we thought you were in at that particular moment. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. There was a pause, and then Dangena and then there, when I, you remember, I was wearing red and white beads at that time. Yeah. I was already now left in Dwasoyo's course. I was now going to Dwasoyo now, thinking I would go what back is in and finish. You are going back to that question. I don't understand. And I think for a conversation like this, you, it's, people need to understand. It's, it's, uh, remember, people would separate and say, Utwase is close, meaning you would put on white clay, okay. you wear, um, Amanapkeni, okay. Amaprinti, and mm, all of that. Mm. And then mostly white beard, white okay. beads, but they do all other colors as well. Mm. And then you'd go through uh, an, an elaborate process whereby you do isputumo, uh, mfukamo, mfumakufa, maybe agloma, maniaglotata, and then you do mikabazo, you do luka, and then homecoming. So that is in Dwasos according to El Kala Lestos. Then you would go ke Quindao as Fanano Mozambique, you understand? But now it has become almost now Southern African thing now because it's everywhere now. It's in Cape Town, it's in it's in all over Eastern Cape, it's everywhere. But in the old days it was from Eswatini, from Mozambique. Which is where you were when uh, we were speaking in twenty twenty one. Uh, which is the journey now I was at when we spoke. Okay. Yes. I, I will Our, not ask you to explain these things. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I see the reluctance. No. <laughs> Carry on. Carry okay. on. Okay. She passed away so, and it was a sign. You, you thought it so was I a sign. So I thought this is a sign, man, of why am I pursuing with this now? Because 
whatever I thought I was going to find, I did not find. And there is no hope that I'm going to find it in the near future. So I thought to myself, let me just now pause. Understand? Because now even my dreams were no longer the dreams that would point me or oh, well, I should continue with this. Because, you know, remember when you are Itwasa or you are Iklicha or Isangoma, all you do in the place of prayer, we are, we are path. You understand? Meaning that you speak to your ancestors, whether you're using Mpepo or using candles, but in your special place. Nam Bendina Indumba, where I had all my medicines, where Bendi Bendi Path and the Sands are younger land. But instead of coming back with answers from those ancestors, but answers were coming from, let's say, from the side of the Bible. It was verses that were coming to make mind. A, make a practical example. A practical example, as I said to you, is that it's when I would dream preaching. You understand? And I would wake up with that message and it would be sort of an answer to the questions I had before I went to bed. That's just that now I can't remember mm -hmm. specific examples because it was over uh, quite a period of time. Okay. You understand? So I ended up uh, uh, going back to that dream I related to you that eh, even at the beginning of this whole thing there was the Bible because I dreamt of the woman that came as in a form of a leopard and uh, transformed into a human being and then eventually said to me do not forsake the Bible that was the first dream that was very vivid that I could have pointed forward to this being visited by an actual ancestor in my dreams would you say that dream drove you to this point where you are right now? I would say, looking back, I, I don't fully understand the dream even today. I wouldn't lie to you and say, now I know. No. But it, it, wanted, it, it, it sort of added to what I was thinking that even in the beginning, there was the Bible. Hence, you would see that through my journey, I could not speak against the experience I had as a Christian. True, because it was true. part of who I was. It's what made me the person I was. It's how I survived life throughout these years. Um, so I couldn't speak against that experience. It was part of me every day. You understand? My opinions, my worldview, and how I think was already shaped in that way. Okay. It's still troubling you. You do not know what it means. Did you end up leaving African spirituality to Bungoma, Ikwele? How, where are you now? Yeah, I decided to stop um, because I said to myself, now, if I if I insist, it means now I'm no longer sincere because now w the things that I, I saw there are things that I could not participate in and are things that I cannot, with a good conscience, uh, uh, um, harmonize uh, with scripture. So first of all, from the onset, when I left Christianity, I, I decided that I will never mix the two because I was well aware that they do not mix. And in my mind and in my understanding, they can never mix because at the base, they are very diametrically opposed. Uh, no matter how much, because one thing you are going to end up doing, it is now to treat the Bible as being uh, very much uh, subjective where now you would say some things are not the word of God in the Bible, some things are the word of God. So to me, it's either you accept the Bible as the word of God or you don't accept it as the word of God and you discard it. So it's not it's not being intellectually honest if you are going to pick and choose what to believe and what not to believe. So that is why I left Christianity completely and I never referenced to Christianity in my dealings with Af in African spirituality because I thought it would be uh, um, not being honest. But then again, now that I am on this side, it means that I have to leave it. I have to leave African spirituality completely. When I say completely, I mean the, the religion part of it. You understand? Not uh, being an African because I cannot change myself. I am an African, but I believe God has spoken to Africans through the Bible. Where does that leave you spiritually? Where would you say you are right now in your spiritual journey? Now I am at a point where I'm praying for my own salvation, where I'm praying uh, for victory over my sins. Remember, when you are away from God, you pick up uh, uh, things that uh, you shouldn't uh, do. You understand? You, you start habits, bad habits, so to speak that are not in harmony with the gospel of Christ. So, And also there are practical implications to sin. You don't just 
It's not like when you were young where sin was almost a theory. When you get older, sin conceives and sin becomes sometimes people. You understand? <laughs> so you can't just pack and and then and leave all of that behind. It becomes then a process, a very painful process uh, that requires patience. So now I'm I'm getting back to reading the Bible, getting back to praying, getting back to going to church, getting back to sharing a testimony. Uh, whenever I get the opportunity, um, what do you say in your testimony? Um, in it, there are people who are very curious to know. So in my personal space, or maybe in private, so to speak, whenever people ask about these things, um, why did you stop? Some people are still troubled by the same issues. You understand, whereby they think they have a calling. So they are very intrigued to hear that. Hey, and then I stopped. Now they were like, hey, what happened to my brother? Because I thought I was going to do this. I was going to start this journey. I was encouraged by your story. And then I would say, no, 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 no. Don't be encouraged by my story. Uh, here's a new story to encourage you or to discourage you from being encouraged. Uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to find my feet again. Yeah. Would you discourage such a somebody? If I, as Dinilosanga, comes to you, mm. if I come to you and say, Kandi, yes, <laughs> the, the last <laughs> I saw and spoke to you, you were Kandi, yes, mm. a healer, African healer. Yeah. I think I have a calling. Okay. I want to accept the calling of my ancestors. Mm. I'm still a Christian, but this Christianity is not working for me. What would you well, how would you cancel? How would you advise? Um, it 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 is it is not going to be easy. I I want to believe that um I would have to give you much. Uh, I would have to give you a benefit of the doubt that first of all you are being sincere, and I would want to understand what are the reasons why do you believe you have a calling? You understand what is happening in your life? What are the dreams? What are the visions? Why do you strongly believe? And then I would share my story and, and, and give you my testimony and maybe give you a bit of doctrine and what I believe. And then eventually or in the end, it still lies with you. It is your decision. It is your journey. It is your life. I can't decide for you. Let's get to questions that were posed by people. Kupra Ace saw me. He... He... he more importantly, I thank God. Okay, he's thanking God, he's thanking me, he's thanking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of thanks. Uh, okay, and then he quotes a scripture that came to mind, First Corinthians ten thirteen. I will not read it, mm. but if you're interested, look it up. Is he able to put a finger onto that one thing or time where God may have given him a warning or way of escape that he may have ignored or disregarded or he never saw this coming. It just hit him from nowhere without giving him signs. Um, uh, uh, there were signs. And, and, and you will always see the signs when someone is about to leave or is about to stop believing in God. You, you, you hear in the way they speak. Uh, but that, that, those are outward symptoms. It's when I think maybe they are, they are almost gone. But when it begins, it's 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 sort of it's it's the individual that feels the falling away. Um, if you remember the the song that says "Come Thou Found of Every Blessing," there's a stanza there where I think the the song was composed by by Robert uh, Johnson or something like that, uh, where he says, "Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love." So you see, he he, he felt a pull towards the world. Yeah, so there are those symptoms when it takes effort to pray, when you no longer feel joy in the presence of other saints or going to church, you can begin to know that there is there is something that is beginning here. You are getting tired of, of, of spiritual growth or religion. And then you must do something at that point. How would you advise one fellow Christian who is going through such? How do you advise them to stay rooted in the faith um first of all you must uh, realize that if you are if you are a christian and you are called by god and you love christ you must focus on that first yes you can study about health you can study about reformation you can study prophecies but all of those things 
they must lead you to knowing more of him and becoming more like him because all of them are testimonies about him because that's what he said you study the scriptures because you believe that in them you have life and they are they that testify of me you understand so everything you must ask how is this thing telling me about christ what am i learning about his love for me and everything so if you don't miss that and the 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 he must become real to you. It must be a daily thing. He must not be a, an ideology. He must be a personal relationship between the two of you so that you 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 miss communing with him. Even when sometimes you get side, sidetracked, you must be able to say, hey, I miss my devotion. I miss praying. I miss being alone with God. And then you know you are on the right track. Another one is a question from Tolani Emmanuel Tole. He says, Recently, our family had mtimbi, which is a, a traditional thing. And uh, we invited, I'm trying to paraphrase, translate to English. We invited uh, a traditional spiritual person to oversee the, the ceremony. Mm. But what startled him, Kobani, is that this person said, even if this is a ceremony for our ancestors. We cannot do this without involving God. Now, Kobani's question is, in Gaba goes the journey Zako Zombini, Uguvele na Indo Yokuba ez in Kolo Zinako na Ukusebenza Zombini. In your journey, has it ever come to light that these things, African spirituality, which focuses on ancestral worship. Some people will dispute that. And the worship of Christ can be married together and go hand in hand. Um, in, in my understanding of the word, the two cannot be married. They're just like water and oil. Mm. Um, because unless we're going to deny scripture or, 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 or turn a blind eye on very explicit scriptures about the state of the dead and about um, 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 consulting mediums and, and, and Isangoma and all those things. So unless we're going to overlook those verses, then we can then harmonize whatever the rest remains. But to me, I cannot genuinely marry the two. It's either or. You understand? Didn't you marry the two when you're on the other side? No. You always dreamt of the Bible and you 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 read the bible would you not i i did not marry the two okay i was in the other and the other called me back no 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 no. when you were during that process when you were practicing or whatever would you never read the bible no is it i bought the bible remember i said i bought the bible okay and i put it there in dumbe waiting Mm. what is going to be the instruction about this bible you understand Mm. but it never came to a point where I used the Bible or, or read the Bible for my, my self-education. Would, would you not pray to the God of the Bible? At that time, I was not praying, as I said to you, Ben Pala, because I couldn't only honestly pray knowing what right. I knew okay. about the Bible. Mangali Songwendu asks, if he is back amongst Adventists, Amasabata, how has the reception been? How are the attitudes of those who stopped being his friends after he had left, if there was such the fellow Matriha team Ebe Kunyenayo, what are they saying? The guys on the other side. Yindoni eyo nanto aifundileyo there by the riverside. <laughs> what have you learned from the ancestral calling, all those things you had to go through by the waters? There? Mm, mm. Um you, you know what I've learned, number one is that um there, there, there is there is more to ancestral worship, or let me say, uh, veneration, because this is gonna create a controversy. But be, but even when I was on the side of ancestry, spiritual beliefs, and all of that, I had always believed that we worship ancestors. But somebody else is gonna say we don't worship ancestors. But um, has been on this platform. Um, Adamantly saying no. No, he may they say he worship. may say Africans never worship, never used mm. to worship. Uh, it's very easy to speak about the past mm. people 
that did not live in our time mm. and then assume that they never or they did something. But let's talk about the people who are living in our day and time. Yeah. That is that is the question. What are the people who are living in this day and time doing? Are they not worshipping ancestors? What's your that answer the, to that? They are worshipping okay. ancestors. And even if you look on social media space, people are rightly cursing the Bible. They are not rightly, I'm saying outrightly mm. cursing the Bible, unashamedly um, saying that they, there is no Christ, there is no Bible, everything was man-made, there is no God, or God is a woman, whatever you call it. They are not ashamed. And then we can't listen to one person who then says, no, no, Africans never used to worship the, 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 their ancestors. And yet they're putting their ancestors before God. Even if where there is a certain belief in God, God always comes after. They will say, no, it's God first, then ancestors. And we cannot go to God without going through or revering the, our ancestors. But, but in actual sense, when you look at the actual practice, it is all about ancestors. You are back to them, Bond. I know. Also, Milapana, Spali Wam says, looking forward to hear more. Andy Lekomle, I know him for preaching about the health message. Has he, in his journey, been able to keep it still, the health message? Uh, no, 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 no. It was, it was never possible to keep uh, the health message, even though I believed in its merits and, and mm. its validity. But it's in that space it's very hard we eat meat there we drink blood there we eat fat there you understand that we 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 see a cup see a food a pair since as long as you know that i would not consider is sometimes healthy but uh then i always knew that you can't do uh, a lot of this without suffering the consequences or injury to your health. Mm. But then I always had this belief, okay, if it's for spiritual purposes, at least it's a give and take. You are gaining spiritual even though maybe you might be losing physical. Okay. From Nolu Yolo, Makacheni Dube, Makacheni as I'm one of the people, yeah, she, she is, <laughs> I'm one of the people who said he will be back. How did he take all the judgment if there was any from the Christian community, does he feel that he is now in the right place? And this is probably a person that saw you coming up because Gwas is slightly a dead. Yeah, no, you, there was a lot of, of, of judgment, um, but it did not faze me because I've never been that kind of a person who, who totally gets discouraged by, by people's opinions about what I'm doing. I always check myself um, against my conscience. Am I doing this because I believe it's going to be of benefit? It's going to lead me somewhere. Uh, I'm in a quest. I'm in a search. I'm in a journey. Um, I do check my sincerity. Am I doing this because I sincerely believe to be the right thing at that moment? Then um, I will just have to tolerate or, or, or push through whatever people are thinking about me. Obviously, there's a, there's a, there's a human part of me which really gets troubled and sometimes want to put people in their right place. But I would always think that if you say you don't believe in something, eh, the one, the first thing that must show is you not caring about it. To me, that's the only way I prove that I no longer cared about Christianity. It was when I didn't care what Christians thought about me and then I was not going to waste my time trying to disprove Christianity because I thought to myself, it's going to take away from my credibility. I'm going to sound disgruntled. I'm going to sound as if now I'm not happy where I am mm -hmm. and I only mm -hmm. find happiness in, in, in speaking bad about Christianity. I wanted to enjoy the journey and only share what was good in the journey with others who are looking at me. So so even 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 um, now, I don't think I'm going to spend uh, most of my time uh, bashing the African spirituality. I would not run away from speaking the truth as I have seen it, but I'm not going to spend all my life trying to to preach what I don't believe in. I'd rather preach what I've belie I believe in. You understand? Um, these are from me now. I think I'll give you three. From part two of our previous conversation, mm. you made reference to Ellen White. And I think you had made a point that you n had reached a point where you no longer believe that she was a messenger of God. 
but you admired her for her writings. Mm. Where do you stand now? Maybe I should start here. Yeah. Living African ancestral worship, whatever you call it, whatever one might call it. Yeah. Are you going back to creation Christianity through Adventism or are you still trying to find which path of Christianity you'll be re-entering through? Um, I think I'm more inclined in, in coming back to Adventism because that is the kind of Christianity I've grown, I've, I've known for so many years, but my mind is not yet made up 100%. Mm. But if now I say to you I'm going to church, it means that I'm going to an Adventist church. You understand? Because I visit there. You okay. understand? Uh, but I've not committed myself to saying, Mdala, if I get class in your baptism, or I want to get baptized in the next baptism. Why? The reluctance? Um, the, 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 the reluctance? I'm not reluctant as to, um, I want to take it one step and one day at a time. Mm. I don't want to force things. Mbonda, you've read. It, it, I, I think that's all it takes. Read with understanding. Mm. You know these things. Mm. Are you telling me you do not know them now? What things? Whatever things uh, you need to learn to reach that decision. Or are you waiting for the no, right no, yes. spiritual moment? Yes. No, now it's no longer about reading. I don't need theory now. I need now to, to have that, what do you call it, that conviction in my heart. What brings about conviction? Um I, I believe conviction is an answer to a question that you've posed to God and you quietly wait for him to answer you in your spirit whereby you can be confident that this is God who is directing me in this path. What's that question? That question is, should I go back and be baptized into the Adventist church? Mm -hmm. uh, now that I'm back, mm -hmm. and I never thought I was going to come back. What if but I'm still surprised? Maybe I'm still in that limbo stage yeah. where I am shocked. How did this change come about? What if God shows you something else? Catho Catholicism. <laughs> uh, How would you know it's God? It, How would you know? Couldn't you have chosen no, something I else? I chose this for, <laughs> for a particular purpose. <laughs> Look, now I'm old. I know how God speaks to me. If 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 he, in the way that I know he speaks through conviction and be able to validate what you you are convicted of through, through the his word. word, the word is supreme, then I would be a Catholic. Let me just put it like that without yeah, yeah. delving it into it. It makes the sense. Issue. I get it. Yes. What spirits are in control on the other side? Yeah. Um, it is it is it is very hard ne, to 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 say, uh, but um, personally, I believe it is not the spirits uh, the spirits we have uh, we have been um, taught to believe. It's 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 certainly not the spirit of our departed loved ones. The reason why I'm saying that. Um, it's because in my journey in African spirituality, there, there, there is um, a time where I thought to myself, what did my parents teach me before they pass on? They taught me to pray. They taught me that the Bible was important. They taught me about church. And um, I went back to the testimony that my, grandpa, uh, my grandfather had, um, a story that happened to him that when he worked in the mine, he had an accident and he slept in a coma. And then uh, when he woke up there, he went home uh, after being far away from home at Chipila for so many years. Then when he came back home, um, he got uh, circumcised and took a wife, started working, went back to church and started preaching. Now, when he was asked what happened in, in Gauteng or at the mines, he, he said that, no, at the mines, um, I was in a coma. And then I was I was told to wake up, and this is the song that was sung in the dream that woke me up. Ingoma uh, if you know it, cool, and that's how we started preaching the second coming of Christ and salvation. So and then I said to myself, if I have such a forefather, someone who went before me, someone whom who was with me 
um, uh, until he passed on when I was 10 years old. Why hasn't he come? That was my question. Why hasn't he come forth to speak to me, you understand, about these things? Where is his spirit, you understand? So I'm like, I'm not going to accept. And in the, at the back of your mind, you know his spirit must have been the spirit of God. Yes, okay. I, there's no doubt in my mind that he, he, he was possessed of the spirit of God, not the spirit of his ancestors. So now I, I, I'm like, um, I am not going to accept any other spirit because there is a danger when you are in Afri African spirituality in pursuit of power. You end up accepting all sorts of spirits to possess you, to gain power, either to tell people their problems or to diagnose or to give solutions or to make them wealthy, so to speak. Can those spirits not operate on this side of Christianity? Um, they can, they can. Um, uh, you, you can as a pastor and go, meaning that uh, you are going to be initiated uh, to some form of spiritualism whereby certain spirits will operate through you um, to attract people to your church or whatever organization you want to be to make a success of so to me then these spirits are not longer about ancestry and and and, and family affairs and and one thing are I, they demons um, i asked you this the last time they, you had a smart yes, answer. they are fallen spirits. <laughs> on on the side of Christianity, we believe that they are fallen. They are very smart angels. They've been around for quite a very long time. And and to give a sense, when we talk about evil spirits, um, so to speak, uh, we speak about angels in all their categories. Because remember, there is not one type of an angel. There are angels in all categories. That's why the Bible, when it talks about angels, it likens them to stars. Because it does they differ in the light, the light they give forth, the light we see. Some stars are faint, some stars are very, are very bright. So even with angels, they, 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 there's got ranks of power, you understand? So some are employed to do certain duties. Some are employed, just like the good angels, to be with your family for all generations. So that's what we call familiar spirits. They know everything about your family. They know everyone. So they can impersonate anyone from any generation. You understand? So, so, so what I'm trying to say is that my safeguard was if these ones that I know don't come forward and speak to me, I'm not going to accept any spirit that I've never seen before. Some people may say, what about Jacob and David? I will never talk to David in my dreams. I'll never talk to Jacob in my dreams. I'll never claim that Jacob has come to my dreams and spoken to me. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, because the Bible did not say causes don't consult the dead. It was just general. It was, in fact, speaking to the Hebrew people, you understand, that do not consult the dead. You said something to the effect that there are people who see beyond what we see. Mm. Now, last interview now. Mm. Like, you, you made reference and you said, made an example that you're sitting in church and you see this woman and you're like, Aimo, this woman is a witch. Mm. Or you see this man, Aimo, this man is a witch. So, do you still have that ability to see in the spiritual? <laughs> and what is your role when you see such, if you are now a Christian? Do you, do you have that ability? No, I don't have that ability. But you sounded like you had it then. Um, the, 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 the ability I have, and I still believe I have, I, I had, still believe I have, is the ability of intuition which then can be enhanced if I wanted by then initiating certain spirits to enhance the, the ability of intuition. But can't you, can, wouldn't, can't you have that relationship with the spirits of love and light? Can't uh, you tap into those spirits to show these things? Or are these things only shown by other spirits? No, I believe God can show you. I mean, you've got a lots of examples in the bible and even i told you about my grandfather who used to be shown people's problems we are talking about us you him. now I i'm saying i can i can i can because it's a matter of now cleansing myself in the in the matter of i need to get closer to god so that his spirit can loudly speak in my life you understand so that now i can be sure that these are now 
good angels and this is now the spirit of the living God. This is now the Christ. Would you say anyone can me. be able to do that if they cleanse and allow God to take control? I believe if God is in control of your life, you 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 will have dreams. That's the promise in Joel, that your 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 daughters, yeah, you understand, will see visions. Your old man will dream dreams. So that is that is the gift of the Holy Spirit. But um, God gives the measure as He likes. It's it's up to Him what gift He gives you. Mm. Not all of us are going to be able to see. Not all of us are going to be able to prophesy. Not all of us. We are given different uh, gifts according to the Spirit. Thank you. I think that's where we should end it. Our time is running out. Thank you for tuning in. It was a good one, but we ran out of space. Like, share, subscribe.